name is Lori Reed. I live in Peoria, Illinois. I received a BFA in graphic design from the University of Illinois and ran my own graphic design business in Gelsberg for 30 years. I began making mixed media collage in 2005 and started exhibiting in galleries uh, the next year and have been making artwork ever since. I've known Linda and Mary for over 30 years and Linda suggested that we start um, kind of a lunch group where we would talk about art we were making and we decided to start working from the same word. So we stuffed a, a ceramic jar with words and phrases and we would then meet about monthly and bring what we had made in response to that word and then critique the art and give each other suggestions and um, kind of pushed ourselves and were accountable to one another for making new art and trying new things. I started uh, making collage in the traditional way um, and then I took a trip to Yellowstone and had all of these photographs of a beautiful place and I decided I would run filters on those to make them more abstracted, more painterly and introduce them into my work. And then I believe it was in 2012, I had the idea of putting those filtered photos through a paper shredder. And this body of work has evolved from that of cutting the photos into quarter inch strips and combining several filters to make a new kind of impressionistic image. I went from putting those pages through paper shredder and spending an awful lot of time sorting paper to making a template. And I've got cut lines and um, numbers so I can keep track of where is row 32. I need to interrupt that strip going across the image with another filter. So when I'm done with the work, I have this kind of crazy sheet of paper, but it helps keeps me organized and um, allows me to work more efficiently. I always write the word joy on a panel before I start the piece. It's always in the bottom left corner. And I know that I am going to feel joyful as I work on this piece of art. And I hope that a viewer will find joy in looking at it from a distance and from up close. And that maybe they even find it so joyful they want to take it home with them and live with it. I think the art sisters uh, play well together in our work as well as a group. We travel together to Michigan and Arizona every year. We meet monthly and have lunch and then talk about the work we've done. And uh, often it is in response to a word we've drawn. And uh, it's so fun to see what all of the different takes on that word or phrase are as we bring our work together and, and critique. I love working with a group in that they bring their completely different viewpoints uh, to my work. All of my art sisters work in ceramics, yet they all have a wonderful eye for color and flow and give me input that uh, pushes me maybe in new directions and encourages me to keep trying new processes. And I think the result in this show is that there's just a lot of playfulness and um, kind of cross-pollination amongst us. I would say in the beginning, my art was influenced by looking at other collage artists like Joseph Cornell, um, Nick Bantock, Ray Johnson. But as I started working with the photographs I was taking, it's been more influenced by my own travel and by the beauty of nature. I grew up on a farm in uh, Illinois and have lived in Illinois my whole life, uh, but I've been traveling a lot in the last uh, 10 years and bringing those um, influences of travel back into my work here. You told us about In the last two years, I've been working on a series that you see here in the gallery in this show. I'm taking bird and animal photos and laying them over uh, a background that is not their natural habitat. So I'm taking photos when I travel and sometimes it's a landscape, other times it's a detail shot. So I look through those and pick something to place this bird or animal over. So I have a 
fat Illinois squirrel on top of an Italian tile. I have uh, a heron in front of an Argentine mural. I also have a rabbit who's eating clover in front of a Van Gogh landscape. So I like uh, the color palette that's resulted from that, of, of really bright colors to work with. And then I'm, um, I always embed something in the final layer that's kind of a, a little gem to find. So uh, in the piece with Van Gogh's um, landscape in the background, I have his handwriting from his letters that's on the fur of the rabbit. Um, I put gold leaf in some of these or copper leaf. I have um, old world map pieces embedded in them. So I like that from a distance it, it it maybe looks like a painting. You get up close and you see these lines of cut paper, and then you get really close and then you find these, these hidden things.